When Steve Sears purchased the stationary factory in Dalton, Massachusetts, his vision was to turn this former mill building into a landing spot for local artisans, craftsmen, and entrepreneurs. And as Connecting Points Brian Sullivan found out recently when he visited with the building's newest tenants, KSW Printing, that vision has come to fruition as KSW combines art, craft, and entrepreneurship. In western New England, old brick mill buildings like this one are about as common a sight as the rivers that are often found running behind them. Many have even found a new lease on life by way of repurposing. But one in particular, on 63 Flansburg Ave in Dalton, Massachusetts, seems to be up and coming, which may seem like an unusual way to describe a structure that's over 100 years old. But within the confines of this roughly 100,000 square foot erstwhile four-story factory, we find a brewery that's quickly becoming established and shedding its label of upstart. There's an artist enjoying his second act, following a career in a completely unrelated field. It's where a father and son get to bond while doing some high-end woodworking, and that's only scratching the surface of the growing number of tenants moving in to the stationary factory. The second floor here already has several businesses operating on it. Some have been here for a few years, others for just a couple. And thanks to the abundance of space in this building, there are still some just getting started. And by just getting started, we mean the paint is still drying and there are likely still some unpacked boxes. We moved in February 1st. So, you know, we've been here uh, <laughs> like 13, 14 days, you know what I mean? It's a joint venture known as KSW Printing, with the letters standing for the principal owners, Paul Keel, Kyle Sowen, and Quintavious Walls. And even though his name is last in the title, there's no confusion among the three that Walls was not only the one with the plan and experience, but also had an eye out for the ideal location. This is the space I actually looked at a long time ago. It was already a screen printing shop, so it, you know, it fit our needs. I have had like clothing lines and stuff like that, so I had a clothing store out of North Adams. So it kind of became a necessity for me to just make my own things, you know what I mean, instead of outsourcing them. So, you know, I gained the information, learned, and, you know, due to the pandemic, I closed down and took it as a perfect opportunity to just get into manufacturing myself and helping other brands out. In a world where branding has likely never been more prevalent and important for getting noticed, having young, talented artists on site only helps their cause. Partners Keel and Sowen joined this startup by way of long-standing friendships. Keel and Walls having worked together side by side in the restaurant business, and Sowen having been a bass fishing buddy of Walls for years. What they bring to the table here is something Walls calls the Q factor, an attention to detail and the insight to ask the right questions, which makes for a very short learning curve. Anything I do, I really pick it up quick. Like I've done construction, I've been a foreman for Northern Foundations, you know, I've been the general manager at Five Guys, I've been a sous chef. I've done landscaping, I've done a lot of different work. So anything I really do, I pick up quick. So it's just like, you give me a template, you show me what to do, and then from there, I'll figure it out until I get it right. Good moral fiber was a huge thing for, for this, you know. Um, like I said, we've been good friends a long time. I've tried to help push his business in the past, um, and it kind of came to a point where he needed to grow, and he made the offer, and it was kind of an opportunity, and I jumped on it. At the time of this interview, KSW was only two weeks into operations here, so the long-term effects of combining friendship and business remain to be seen for quite some time. For now, the focus is strictly on the business end of things. For this printing company, you know, big picture is, you know, we just want to grow as much as we can. We want to obviously get some corporate accounts, get some bigger accounts and, you know, service them, but we also want to service our community and our smaller businesses as well because you know we're a small business.